Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, I have to get rid of the ones in here. So, yeah, I guess in the original version of this game, they had a lot more Tears of Light. There was, like, 20 of them. Yeah. I think we talked about this. And then there was, like, protesting and rioting in the streets, and people died and stuff like that. And they were like, yeah, we're not going to have as many. Rick killed a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably lay low for a while. <laughs> yeah, it was just weird. I didn't think that it was that big of an issue, but apparently... I didn't particularly like this part of the game. Like, as cool as being the wolf is, like, it's kind of a tedious task. Yeah, the game is definitely more fun when it's more open and you're like, oh, I want to be the wolf now. Now yeah. I don't want to be the wolf, yeah, etc. Sure. It's kind of like um, the spirits, I think, you get in Skyward Sword, where it, um, if you, like, get caught by any of the people, remember? If you get caught by anyone, like, you basically are done. Oh, yeah. Like, that was a pain in the ass. People didn't really like that. Um, do I dig? In no, I don't. Those are just things. What can you go in that hole? No, it's it was a grate. It wasn't really a hole. Uh, so I have to find another way in. Unless I was supposed to. Here, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't need it. Um, what were some of the other? Oh, I can go up here. This is a thing. Bones. And just break through that window. Yeah, where you just like. Oh, no! uh, wait, what? Are you supposed to pounce in there? <sighs> Probably. Maybe I just won't have my senses on. I need to turn my my wolfy senses off. Yep, there you, there you go. go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, nice. You saved yourself. Very good. Dude, even Wolf Link can catch ledges now. What really? In the really? World. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe maybe I just jump now instead of doing the attack. There yeah, you there go. You go. Good job. Woo! Figured it out. All right. Um, that's just a sign. It says no fire. Oh, that's right. You blow this thing up. <laughs> no fire. So fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I forgot you blow this place up. It's awesome. Yeah, that's actually. Right. <laughs> Not cool for whoever works here. But. Barnes. Oh, yeah, Barnes. <laughs> it is Barnes. They didn't like my bombs. Yeah. <laughs> do you blow it up now? I think you do it later. Okay. I think you do it because you come back to this village later on, like when the um, when Midna gets hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you come back here. Or maybe maybe it's like after. I don't know. Oh, this is what you blow up. That's yeah. right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, this is, this is totally what you blow up. Okay. I remember now because this I'll is like his professional this, this is his storage area for all of his bombs because uh, his shop is open. Yeah, afterward. you definitely blow this up. So grab that steak, pick up the steak, fire, and then Wait, I want to. There, there we go. Double flaming power. God, <laughs> destroyed <laughs> this place, man. Yeah. Huh? What did you do? Sorry. As romantic as this is. is. <laughs> See what I mean? Like. Navi was never like. Oh god. Navi was never like that. Man, Navi like I feel like a bunch of characters from Ocarina get a bad rap. Like the owl person and Navi. Like, hey, listen. They were like, both annoying. That's why. Yeah, I guess that's like why the technology and like the, the plot developments like changed over the years. Because obviously, yeah. Ocarina came out in the nineties, but late nineties. Yeah, some nineties. But uh, but yeah, I would not argue. <sighs> Dude. Oh, I would not argue that um, that Minda is annoying. I mean, I, maybe it's just because I like her. But yeah, she's a good character. She, yeah, I mean, and and like Navi, there's the, the the extent of like her character development and plot that revolves around her is she sacrifices herself at the end. Yeah. And that's it. That 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 is like her thing that she does. Yeah. Which, uh, which now that I actually think about it, is basically what Minda does. But who's the fairy you get in Majora's Mask? Is it Tattle? Yes. Yeah. It's Tattle, and then there's that other fairy. This is probably gonna be a super unpopular opinion, but I did not like Majora's Mask. It's it was very different for a Zelda game. I didn't like the whole three days thing. I thought it was. I mean, yeah, it's a cool idea, but I didn't like it at all. Like I, I said, it was very different. Yeah, I I enjoyed it, but it was definitely a a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Than normal. <clears throat> and do I? Can I? I can't even do it. There's anything. nothing here. Oh, cause you know what? I come back in here as. Have I always been able to? Oh, cool. Um, you come back in here when you can change back and forth. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, there's nothing here for Oh, you. sorry for wasting everyone's time. Who cares? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, so I think I just, like, there's two more areas that have the tears of light. They are that, oh, that area up there, which, what is, yeah, just go to the white part. There's got to be a way to get in. I think you have to go to the hot springs. I have to go... If you fall, will you die? I'll probably get hurt. Like... Nope. nope. I don't I don't think I fell far enough. That's the problem. Because you can you can basically avoid damage in most falls in this game by rolling. Yeah, true. Which I think is 
pretty common for Oh, you just fall down there. Yeah. Explosion. Oh, you actually had to fall from there. Yeah. Perfect. I think there's one in here? Yes, there is. So did you get a chance? I don't know if you were paying attention, but yesterday I uh, had this band on in the car. Um, the struts. Have you heard of the struts? Is that... Uh, is that who you were listening to the first time or the second time? Like, on the way to B-dubs or on the way back? On the way. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I, I mean, I listened to both, but... They're this, um... They, I mean, they've been around for a little bit, but they're like this glam rock band. Like, they're bringing back, like... Yeah, I was gonna say, the they sounded of, very, like, 80s-esque. Yeah, they, they're, they remind me a lot of Aerosmith, but they, um... They just released a new album yesterday. Well, as as of today. Obviously, this is going to be posted in probably in a couple weeks, but... <laughs> March, March 4th is when they released their album and i love it man like they're totally um bringing back a lot of old styles that like didn't um, didn't stick around didn't stick around yeah like styles of, like aerosmith and other other things i'm not too hip on a lot of old music because i wasn't raised around it but yeah i mean i liked aerosmith really the only like i guess god people are gonna hate me for calling this old rock but like older rock bands that i liked oh i go up on the hill okay um was boston yeah, you love Boston. I, I yeah. love Boston. I think that they are just like head and shoulders above. <laughs> I mean, they released an album. Granted, it was like an eight track, so it, was, it wasn't super long. But like, literally every song on it could have. Really? Really? Suck, man. <sighs> Anyways, any any one, you just pick any track. Like, on that album, the their self titled one, the one with the spaceship on it. And it could be the it could have been the single for that album. It was just that good. Yeah. Like there was not a single track that was not like really perfect. Honestly, I'll have to listen to it. I, if, I don't think I've heard it. If anything, my only criticism for the album is that it was only eight songs. But I think at that point in time that was fairly common. So. I think you had to go in the uh, building. Yeah, I do. I'm still just kind of oh, so sniffing, going sniffing around. around. Yeah. Word. Snooping around while I talk about. My taste in old music. Yeah, I don't know much Boston. I know. Please don't um, crucify me for calling it old music. It, I'm it, sure for me, for me it is. It, it is was, fairly old. I mean, it was I don't know late, when they came out. It's very late '70s. I think it was '79. That's fairly old compared to now. I mean, it's almost 40 it's, years. I, w I wasn't born when the music was out, so exactly. that's that's what I call old music. Well, exactly. I mean, I wasn't even born when Nirvana came out. <laughs> that's gonna date me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, John's wow. such a baby." What a baby. <laughs> Wait, I've already been in here. Uh, you must have missed something. There's no bugs in here, though. Um, are you sure? I feel like I was in here. Oh, no. Okay, I know where we are now. There's another room. I know where we are now. Yeah. This yeah. Okay, I know. Yep, I remember There you now. go. Good well, those aren't, those aren't the things with the tears of light. Sweet. But they are in the other room. You just go upstairs into the other room. You're doing great, man. Thank you. Uh, what are you... That guy was, like, stunned but not on the ground. It's a heart piece. Just kidding. Yeah, dude, if that was, I'd be so pissed because I'm almost uh, done with these tears of light and <laughs> that took like two episodes for me to do. <laughs> did I tell you the story? Did I tell you the story of uh, Boston and how it relates to me? No. So well, when... I mean, you've lived. You've lived in. No, you haven't lived in Boston. You lived no. in Maine. I lived in Maine, yeah. Okay. Um, my mom, ah. my mom has a Boston accent. Well, had a Boston accent. Yeah. She, she was. I don't know if this is Boston or New Hampshire. Please don't crucify me for saying this, which I feel like we said a lot in this episode. But yeah. um, she would say like, "I I gotta go park the car," which is like park the car. I feel like that's New Hampshire. It's, it's whatever Peter Griffin has. <laughs> that's like Rhode Island, yeah. It's very northeastern. But anyway, um, when Sierra and I were in high school and we were like newly dating, um, her dad was a huge fan of like. You know, he's like a heavy metal, like classic, very, very old times music. And I ended up learning the entire song more than a feeling on guitar, including the guitar solo, <laughs> just to impress him. And I ended up like never playing it for him. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty fun. Which is too bad because you don't really play guitar much anymore. Uh, there it is. I fiddle around, um, but yeah, I don't play it nearly as that's, much as I used to. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not your primary instrument anymore. I love the derms. I really do. Hey, the derms are fun. You, yeah, Josh and I are both drummers, which is... One of the things we found out um, when we first met. I don't know where. Can to... you boost back up with Midna? Or just take the stairs? There's, there's no more in here though. Are you trying to get the rest of the things? Yeah. There's. This was the last spot. Did you light everything on fire that you needed to light on fire? Yeah, I blew up the thing. Maybe they're outside. They have to be. I think they're probably. But outside. but there weren't any more dots on the mini map. 
Maybe they're on the minimap outside. No, I, I'm talking about the minimap outside. So, like, there's no more white dots in here. So this this area is clear. But, like, on the Wii, like, on the Wii pad, Wii mote, whatever. Let's go to the chimney. See what... Oh, that's not it. What did I want to do? Let's zoom in. Can I not? So turn around. Oh, they're up oh, here. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. So they're... I have to go backwards? That is pretty sneaky. So they they tried to make this less annoying by removing some, but then they left in ones that were, like, ridiculously far away. Yeah, yeah, oh, these are the ones yeah. on Death Mountain. Yeah. Oh, I'm so dumb. How did I forget hey, that? Don't, don't bring yourself down. You're not so dumb. You're just kind of dumb. I'm just kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> not quite dumb, but I am ignorant. Right, we will not end this episode until we have the rest of them. Yeah, well, we're not not even close we're to We're, like, done. four minutes away. Oh, Sierra's home. Cool. Text her. Send her a little texty text. A little texty text. I immediately regret this. <laughs> <laughs> That's another example of that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. That is, a, that is a fantastic show. If I had to recommend any one show to anyone out there, it would be How I Met Your Mother. <sighs> what are you groaning about? You love that show. I loved the first seven seasons. For, wait, what's wrong with the last two seasons? They're just a totally different tone, and it's like all the characters just became a lot more stupid. Like, they just became really self-aware, and I just, I definitely didn't like the ending. In season eight? Yeah, that's when it started, man, when Marshall and Lily had their kid. I remember, like, watching the season eight premiere, and I was just like, what happened? Like, this show just, like, totally, like, it became, like, a goofball show rather than, like, like, a serious show about, like, life, you know? I've, I felt like that show never changed. Like, that's what I always liked about it, was how it was always about I life. I just felt there was... <gasps> I, get a new, I get a new, I get a new thing. So I gotta go high, medium, low, high... Medium, low. What was that again? <laughs> high, high, medium, medium low, low. High, medium, medium low. low. Oh, I'm supposed to be holding it down. I wonder how close you are to being correct on that tone. I'm sure I'm spot on. <laughs> oh, I know, because that's just like typical, like. Wow, that's kind of cool. Zelda music. Oh, yeah. Have you never done this? You, I, you have to get these I secret moves. I haven't played this game in a long time. Okay. Oh, that's right. Now I have to do it again. Do it again. Wow. You did not do well. <laughs> I did good enough. I got. You, have to, you only have to get like 80% on this. You have to get a B minus. It's not like a target hero, I guess. Yeah. No, are you kidding? 80% is usually passing if you do it correctly. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> oh, my coffee is cold. That's, it is? Yeah. That's weird. Like, I guess not cold, cold, but like room temperature. I guess I can probably skip this. This is... Can't oh, skip. Never mind. You can't skip it. Uh, sorry, everyone. Maybe I can skip the other ones. I just feel like it's cool to see, I guess, but it's just not necessary. Let the teachings of old pass on to you. Take the sword and hand and find me. Or sword and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, crap. I'm not an eagle. <laughs> He's, he's like, oh man, that's the last time I do those stones. <laughs> okay, right. time to find those last two tiers of light. Yeah. So I believe I continue upward. You do. That's oh, I'm discovering new things. Mm -hmm. New magical, dark, mysterious things as a wolf. With a little imp owl uh. <laughs> on her on his back. A little imp. A little imp. Sweet. Yeah, man, I just I love How I Met Your Mother, and I, uh, there were some parts of the last two seasons that I enjoyed. Um, there's a couple really, really good episodes, but overall, the last season felt really, really slow. Obviously, it took place over three days, and yeah. then that last episode just didn't do it for me, man. Like, I know a lot of people like it, a lot of people didn't like it. I know you liked it, but... I, I will explain my, my reasoning for why that was a good... What? Oh, that's right, they partitioned it off, so you have to do, like... This is what you have to do. Go... Wait, what? How... How do I... Just do it. But then that last one's gonna be alive. He's gonna roar them back to life. Um, there's probably just an, a way in that you've not seen. Dude, there... Is... A way in. Okay. <laughs> um, so, okay, here's my take on how much your mother... So we were just discussing how, like, 
Well, one of the things we liked about How I Met Your Mother is that it's like, it's a show about life. Like yeah, that's, it's true to life. I, I, I get that part. I feel like it's true to life. Well, virtually like every sitcom ever, if it does end, because obviously some of them don't really end, yeah. there's like some sort of happy, like, climatic ending to it. Yeah. And while while I do not specifically like the ending exactly the way that it turned out in How I Met Your Mother, I, I am 100% okay and more than happy to have a not happy ending. Because, I can see that. Because life, I mean, life isn't always you happy. You need to get that one, man. You missed it. Huh? You missed the thing. Was it one over here? Yeah, it's that. Oh. It's, it's a Goron. It looked like it was lit up. I can try going... There's, a little, there's something there. Well, that's a Goron. Yeah, but is that... Does that mean anything on the map? No. It's just the spirit. Anyways. Um, yeah, go on. See, this is where I have to go because Minda's going to be like, Oh, jump up here. See? And we. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, but anyways, so... Like, I don't know, not, not everything in life is, is happy. And... I mean, I am generally a happy person, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate things that aren't happy or anything like that. I know what you mean. Yeah. So, so that that was why. I mean, specifically, spoiler alert. Fast forward a few seconds to not hear how much your mother spoilers. <laughs> um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not exceptionally fond of him ending up with Robin. At the end. I think that makes sense, but I don't like it. I, I mean, just feel like they put so much work into the last season to like, like ship Barney and Robin that it just felt awkward to see them like spoiler, get divorced in like the last in the first ten minutes of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, there's so much, like, 22 episodes put into preparing okay, for their I wedding think... just to, like, have it not mean anything. Yeah. Like, it feels like a waste of my time. It's, yeah, and I, and, and I understand that point of view, too. Can you climb up the ropes? I think, no. I think that what you're supposed to do is when the thing, like, rains down um, boulders, you're supposed to stand next to that and one will hit that thing and explode. But or maybe maybe that's not while you're a human. Or maybe it's while you're a human, not as a wolf. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm... I'm the kind of person where I'm. I always agree that there can be like multiple opinions of something, and right, that they're yeah. all and that they're all valid. That's just personally what I think of the ending. And anyone that doesn't agree with me is stupid. So <laughs> pretty simple. You call me stupid. Right? <laughs> how? Sorry. How? Oops. I think. See, they fall on you. So well, just I, go to the white dot, man. I mean, that's where it is. That's. I. I can't. Cause look, if I go. Did you to try it, talking to the Goron? No. Oh, what? I went around. I must have gone through a different way or something. Wait, why? Oh wait, what's the? It's there. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I need. That's the. That's what I need, though. Can you dig anywhere? No. Right there. And that's not it, though. It would be moving. You would still see it underground. Uh, I am. What did Minda say? Confused, huh? What did she say when you guys were over there? She? Minda. She didn't say anything. I was listening to the Goron. Oh, was it a Goron? There was a Goron oh, that was on the other side. That's what I was targeting. Oh, okay. When it said listen. Oh, these are one of the ones that just activate with me being near it. So, I just dropped down. Boy, I am having trouble with this game. You should try talking to the Goron. Just humor me. Okay. Because it, it was like standing right on top of where you needed to be. It's right below where I needed to be, though. So I can't go up. Or if I can, Minda wasn't letting me. Huh. Uh... Bark. Barf. <laughs> barf. 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 Okay, well, what's this down here? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. It was there? Well, that's it. Uh, it's alright. I hate I hate missing obvious things like that. Good job. Hey, you uh, well, I got the all of them now. Alright, guys. It only took me way too long. We can finish the cutscene. It's good, just gonna be some freakish, like, mutant combination of 17 different animals all in one. <laughs> and to be like, I am the god of mammals <laughs> and birds. <laughs> And <laughs> Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be like. Good job. Welcome back, Link. Yeah. I missed you. Which. I'm sorry. Welcome back, Ned. Yeah, Ned. No, I was just thinking which uh, which spirit is it gonna be this time? Because I don't remember. Is this the squirrel or did we have the squirrel already? We have the squirrel tail. Well, the squirrel monkey 
uh, horn thing. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember if this is it or not. This? I just know that the last one is like a Gyarados. Oh, this one's a bird. That's oh, right. Oh yeah. He's like an ink. He's like an eagle walrus. <laughs> he's an eagle walrus owl. Yeah. Because he has right. a heart shaped face. Yep. Fish. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits by rolling the dead. And oh great here. I'm gonna say the exact same thing that all the other gods said to you. Ooh. Dark power, Death Mountain, Goron, Draped in Evil, Hot Stuff. Probably need some metal boots. Yep. And can we can we Oh, I can skip this. Sweet. Hopefully hopefully there wasn't anything important in there. Yeah, you just restore light to the world. Hey, kids! Oh, we'll I skipped, talk to them in the next episode. I skipped this cutscene, actually, because they all came out and said hi to me. Yeah, true. Whoops. Well, oh, see well. you guys later.